Another milestone for a community that's healing. Kids head back to school for the first time since the last week's deadly shootings in Maine. As Bill Malugin explains, police are investigating why the gunman killed 18 people and injured several more. Lewiston High School was used as a law enforcement command post during the days long search for the gunman. On Tuesday, the doors reopened to hundreds of students and faculty who tried to put on a brave face, despite undertones of loss and fear felt all around campus. It's a matter of time just to be, you know, try to act normal again, try to act like everything's fine, but like everything's, everything's not. It was just a weird experience to walk through school. Helping them ease back into their routines, three therapy dogs and a Lewiston Strong banner for students to sign. There's strength in gathering and, and unity and getting back together. And as police try to piece together what led up to the mass shooting, we're learning more about the warning signs brought to authorities' attention months before the massacre. In May, the suspect's family reached out to police about his declining mental health and access to firearms. Two months later, in July, the shooter traveled to New York with his Army Reserve unit and was sent to the hospital. Weeks later, he went home, but the Army determined he should not have a weapon handle ammunition, or participate in live fire activity. Concerned about his mental state, his Army Reserve Unit requested a wellness check in September. Sheriff's deputies were warned he could be armed and dangerous, but both times they visited, no one was home. I think that determining and understanding all the facts surrounding this event is crucial. All of the facts. The Maine State Police is, as I said, in undergoing a thorough investigation of every aspect of the case. And the Army is also conducting their own internal investigation into this shooting. In Los Angeles, Bill Malugin, WDRB News.